regarding vessel tracking, all ships over 300 gross tons must broadcast automatic identification system data showing their position, their speed, their course, and their destination. The system was created for safety and collision avoidance, but it's become the foundation of sanctions enforcement. The weakness of AIS is that it's not encrypted or authenticated, so vessels can spoof their position, go silent, or broadcast false information. The skipper's AIS transponder placed it near Guyana and Suriname throughout most of November, while satellite imagery from Planet Labs and other providers physically located it loading at Venezuela's Jose Terminal. This is where technology matters. Kepler, Bloomberg, Windward, and tanktrackers.com combine AIS signals, satellite imagery, and machine learning to detect inconsistencies. They identified 261 vessels spoofing AIS signals between January and July 2025. When those vessels face subsequent sanctions, 80% get designated within a year. False flags surged this year. Malawi became the flag of choice for 24 sanctioned vessels. These aren't subtle practices.